Hello and welcome to the Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host Eileen and on this week's program our guests from Dance Alive share their enticing new season and community events and we learn about the capital campaign that will build the future home of Dance Alive. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. I'm delighted to introduce my guest, Susan Scanella, Executive Director, Dance Alive National Ballet. And Susan, it is wonderful to have you here. I, I value our longtime friendship. And Thank when you. I heard that you were the Executive Director for Dance Alive, as per last April, I went, this is so perfect. You with your talent, your connections to the community are the ideal choice to leave Dan to lead Dance Alive at this very pivotal moment. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be back. And Gainesville is my home. My family's here. And my studio family, Judy and Kim. Right. So um, they're the inspiration for the journey toward this new home. And it's a pleasure to be back and be a, an active part of this. I know everybody's pleased. And okay, step back and give us a little bit of the history of your beginning in Gainesville with Mary Ellen Pofall and you know, we want to know a little bit sure. more. You have a great bio and it is on the website, but you've done quite a bit in your career. Well, it's been a wonderful journey. Um, I did start my training with Pofall Studios and that was with Mary Ellen Pofall and her two daughters. Judy Skinner and Kim Tuttle, and they provided high quality training, um, which also led to summer study in New York City. And we had a lot of performance experience with Gainesville Civic Ballet, right, which the became beginning. Dance Alive National Ballet. So that was exciting, and um, you know, continued that growth and led me to opportunities after earning my BFA in theater with University of Florida. This was before they had a dance department. That's right. And, um, and then I went on to have a professional career in dance and full circle came back um, from the stage to having my own studio and then returning to Gainesville where I became an adjunct lecturer for the University of Florida theater department as well as being a guest artist with Dance Alive. So it's, it's been a wonderful it's, journey. Yes, yes. It's a full circle. It is. And we've benefited from all of your experience. We are benefiting well, from the, all that you're bringing to this position mm -hmm. as executive director. And I know you've got, um, you know, a wonderful season, which we'll be talking about mm -hmm. as the show continues. But, but Dance Alive also has a commitment to this community, to bringing dance in, in many outreach uh, mm -hmm. capacities and that kind of goes back do you feel to the core of Judy and um, Kim's vision? Oh absolutely absolutely um, I feel like Dance Alive really reflects the heart and soul of the arts in Gainesville and uh, with the professional performances in both classical and contemporary ballets and our core mission is outreach programming, uh, involving the community and giving back, which we do in so many ways. So we really are looking for the support of the community as we go forward. And this Cultural Arts Center will be a home not only for Dance Alive, but for the arts in Gainesville. Yes, that is what is exceptionally exciting and special. So to find that this, this journey, you're taking us forward on this new home for Dance Alive. Yes, um, well, we have a very um, active and passionate board of trustees, I agree. which is a key in any you know fundraising effort and certainly one of this magnitude. And also the never ending passion and energy of Judy and Kim yes. are driving us forward and this will become a reality and we're so excited and again the fact that it will serve not only Dance Alive but the entire but the community. Whole community. And as the campaign is is going out of its silent phase to mm -hmm. moving forward, you have a great campaign chair. We do. Yeah. 
us. Yes, our, we're thrilled to have James Roberts. He's our a board of trustees and our campaign chair for the capital campaign, which is called Soaring to New Heights. And with his leadership and the enthusiasm of the board and the community behind us, it will become a reality. Oh, I know it will. I, I, we, we, there is no doubt in anyone's mind, and fittingly so, a long time coming. And we are about, we're going to take a quick break okay. and then we'll have a conversation with James who will tell us a lot more of how Dance Alive and the community can be soaring to new heights. And every time you say that, I see a dancer in a grand jeté <laughs> crossing yes, the room. <laughs> And, and thank you, Susan. We appreciate you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be, be oh, home. We, oh, <laughs> yes, I agree. And we've got lots more to talk about. Stay yeah. with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about Dance Alive National Ballet, and I'm pleased to introduce James Roberts, Dance Alive Board of Trustees, Capital Campaign Chair. And James, it's great to have you join us. Susan was um, saying how pleased everyone at Dance Alive is that you are steering the ship of this capital campaign. And, and so tell us, how did you get involved with Dance Alive? Well, Eileen, 15 years ago, uh, I came to Gainesville from Madison, Wisconsin. And I came as the general counsel for UF Health Chance and I was able to uh, get an opportunity to be more involved with the community through our old CEO. Um, but actually on a personal level, uh, right. my, my brother was doing musical productions uh -huh. in Europe and my mother was a professor at Peabody. So when they said, you know, there's an opportunity in the arts you to went. get involved, I got yes. involved. <laughs> my heart is in the arts. Yes, <laughs> yes. That is excellent with all your your many years in different areas uh, as an attorney, you, you really have the expertise to guide this um, capital campaign. And, and so tell us, what is this all about? Well, for, uh, for Dance Alive, it's been a five year plus search for the perfect place for the new home. You have it, yes. You know, for Soarington New Heights. And we found that home. And that home was with a five acre parcel in a beautiful part of the north central part of Gainesville. And this beautiful building here, which is about a 24,000 square foot, is the, is the, is the, is the mock-up, basically, what's right. intended to be built, filled with music rooms, studios, um, places for the students to come. And what I should say to you is that the vision for the new location also includes the Pofall School. So, Excellent. So, so combining it all at last. Exactly. So all of the students will be able to see the professionals' training, and as you know, some of them make their way and they're oh, able they to do. Get, they get and then you've got the next generation and this will include an art gallery, I, I see, and uh, performing arts. Right. You're really calling it a cultural arts cultural center. Cultural center. So I guess what to emphasize is that everyone in, to, that we've talked to is looking forward to this location to be a community center for the arts. Yes. I to, mean, it is ideal. Team and team. quite a legacy and fitting legacy for Judy Skinner, Kim Tuttle, Absolutely. and Mary Ellen Pofall. Right. And what they started so many years ago. What F she 50 did. year legacy. It yes. is yeah. uh, amazing. And now we, this community and beyond, get to enjoy Dance Alive and all the excellent performances. And so, so guide us to the next step. Where right. are you going? So this is a $5 million dollar uh, target raise for, for this phase of the capital campaign. We're, we're out of the silent phase. We're okay. now showtime. And part of this <laughs> hey, is... That's is, why we're so glad you're uh, here on our show. Uh, we're happy to, to have this opportunity. Certainly. That's a $5 million target. And there will be naming opportunities for certain aspects in this building. If, if you go to the website, you will see right. both the charitable pledge agreements and you'll be able to see what items are available basically for naming rights. And so as we roll this out basically on a very public basis, yes. um, you know, we expect to have a nice response because it's an absolutely gorgeous building. Truly. And I can think of many people, and I know many more out there that would, um, whose life in dance, uh, whether professional or not, started with the Poe Falls, who right. would love to have this, their name there right. to express those those thanks. Right. This legacy of this family, the Pofall family, Kim and Judy, 
and everything that they've done. It's the most disciplined dance group that you're going to see, and Gainesville is very lucky to have that in their midst. I agree. And this has to go on. Yes, and I, I know it's been talked about for a long time where, you know, Kim and Judy have had this in their heart, but it just seems this is the right time. I mean, any idea how long do we, we speak in terms or we just, you just get started in the public phase and we just keep going? Right, I think um, in 2024, 25, certainly 24, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the destination basically where we'd like to break ground on this okay. property. I see that on yeah. the horizon. And I'm so pleased you've joined us. Anything else you would like to add just to, to let our viewers know? Yeah, I, you know, as somebody who's been everywhere, Baltimore, Chicago, all over the country, you have a gem here uh, for purposes of the Dance Alive group and the Pope Falls School going back 50 years. It's definitely something that needs to continue, should continue, and in this location, in this kind of building with all of its amenities, it'll be great for the next 50 years. Well said. I'm very pleased and, and I look forward to, to being there one day and walking in to this building because I know it's happening. Thank you, James, for your leadership and all those behind you working with you that are making a difference. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Certainly. Thanks. We're proud. Yeah. And stay with us. We'll be right back. We're talking about Dance Alive National Ballet, and I'm delighted to introduce Rosemary Diorio, Dance Alive Principal Dancer. And welcome, Rosemary. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's a treat, and it's a special treat whenever I see you perform <laughs> on stage with Dance Alive, your beautiful, exquisite dancer. And so thank you for being here. And before we talk about the season coming up, tell us a bit of your backstory, how, particularly with Dance Alive. Well, I came to Pofo when I was about 12 years old. My teacher in Ocala told me, you know, you got to get in with Kim Tuttle. And so I did, and it really gave me the foundation to go off and train in a place down in South Florida. And then I returned professionally to dance with Dance Alive. And and here you are. Yeah. And you've had some wonderful roles. You were just in Brazil, yeah, I think, yeah. yes, where you performed with the Black Swan mm -hmm. and how appropriate since Swan Lake is. Yes, it was, it was amazing to see people on stage do it and then do it myself and kind of and, and correlate that. Right, yeah. Well, the community always looks forward to the first event of the year, Meet the Dancers. Tell us a bit about that. Well, Meet the Dancers is special to us dancers because it's the first time we all get back together as a group and you know, there's a sense of excitement for the upcoming season and so sometimes we perform little snapshots of the upcoming season. So yes. we might do something from Swan Lake, um, might do something from Nutcracker and so it's, super it's a fun teaser. For exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. It's yes. a teaser. Yes. <laughs> and it's going to lead us right into what we were talking about Swan Lake. Yes, yes. Extraordinary. Yes. And all, just to say, all performances uh, meet the dancers at the K Museum, but mm -hmm. all other performances or at, at the Phillips the Center. Philip Center, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Swan Lake is amazing to do. Uh, and we did it last year, and I people was in loved the audience. It. Yeah, people loved yeah. it so much. We I had to do it again this year. So. I agree. I agree. Looking forward to that it, one. it was it was stunning. It was mm -hmm. outstanding. It was beautiful. Yes. And so that will set the pace for the season. Correct. Okay. Tell then us. Then we go into Nutcracker, which is the classic. I know. It cannot <laughs> be the holidays without the Nutcracker. You know. Which you perform more than just in Gainesville. But right. Yeah, we're yeah. going to Mississippi, we're going to Ocala, we're going to um, South Carolina, so we take that one everywhere. <laughs> yes, and you've had different roles in yeah. the Nutcracker. Share that with us. Um, well, see, I did uh, Clara's Friends. I was in first act where we use the students and everything. I've done mice. Uh, in fact, I still do mice sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> That's a fun one. <laughs> yeah, um, Snow, uh, Spanish, and um, I've done Sugar Plum. 
you know, it's sometimes it's a marathon. You never stop. You know, you do you get this flowers. one, that one, that. exactly. It is, mm -hmm. it is, and you got to pack up everything, travel, move the sets. Mm -hmm. You you're in Ocala, you're in Alachua. Yes. As their resident company, it's just a lot going on, a lot, a lot to keep up with. I love that season though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know it is magical. It Those is. are the words we use. Yeah. And so when the new year starts, mm -hmm. where do you go? What, what what's next? We're on? doing an in studio performance actually, oh, portraits, yeah. and that's something we did a couple years ago. We're, are continuing on with it. Ani Collier does new works and she lets us explore as dancers and improvise. Kind of feel exactly. Different, it's it's different a lot of uh, modes. Creati creativity for us. We kind of go into a different mode. And now, then, I know Ani, very talented. So oh, yeah. this is it, a whole nother focus. And one of the advantages is different choreographers, different mm -hmm. dance, different, and, and for the audience too. Yeah, of course, sure. there's always a treat waiting when we get near Valentine's Day. Oh yes, Love in the Swamp. Yeah. That's going to be so fun. Oh my gosh. I see a little orange and blue. Yes, we're doing a little gator <laughs> theme. Yes, going down yeah. the aisles. Mm -hmm. We'll do that and do some contemporary work as well. And and then a piece, I believe, from Judy Skinner about yes, Payne's Prairie. Uh, about Payne's Prairie. And that one is going to be beautiful because it's got poetry as well. And so uh, it'll be very different to dance to like a different type. Not is music, yes, but also poetry. So, so once again, to... something different to bring the audience I know, new yeah. experiences at all times. Exactly. And then we have another classic. Giselle. Oh my yes. gosh. I'm That's so going to be wonderful. To do it. That um, was the first ballet I ever saw really? when I was a little girl, five years old. Wow. Never wow. forgot That's it. That's a good one that, to see. Yes, mm. yes. And have I believe you've danced in Giselle before. I did before. an excerpt from the first act, the Giselle Friends dance. And so, hoping to get to do that <laughs> again. And then also be a Willie in the second act. So, I'm excited. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, when we're watching Swan Lake, mm -hmm. are you already beginning the other dances? Oh my gosh, yes. You're, you're on a whole. Mm -hmm. We've already started Nutcracker. We're doing uh, Requiem, which is a show we do at the Holy Trinity Church. And um, yes, probably going to be starting maybe something for January. So it's ongoing at all yes, times. Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and in the future, it will be ongoing, Rosemary with you, Dance Alive Dancers, where in this new facility? Oh, let's see. Either that big studio right there yes. or this one of these little ones. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited for you and all the dancers. Thank you for sharing so much Thank information. Much. We're looking forward to this new season and I will look to see you on stage. <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about Dance Alive with Executive Director Susan Scanella. And Susan, thanks for rejoining us. That was a great conversation with Rosemary and a thrill yes. to talk to one of the principal dancers and get, you know, the whole excitement of the season ahead. Yes. But now take us back once again to meet the dancers and tell us more about it because it is, is a grand party it <laughs> is this is our fabulous first big event of the year it kicks off our season our 58th it will be held at the cave museum which is beautiful and it will be september 22nd at 6 30 p.m it starts and you want you to don't be want to there miss it. a you friday night it. it is a friday night yes. so besides that we were able to see you know um teasers of the season little uh snippets of what's ahead for dance alive what else will be going on i mean because we have food fun uh what about the program yeah so well, dance alive will be performing and as eileen mentioned you will get a sneak peek at performances that will take place throughout the year and we will be introducing our local celebrity Dancing with the Stars contestants and they are paired with a Dance Alive dancer with a uh, particular dance style you experienced that. Yes, it was a joy. Yes. And you get to decide with your dancer what type of dance you will do yes. and work on the costumes. And of course, at the Paris Dance Company teach this to you. Yes. And it, it's, it, and it takes a lot of rehearsal. It really it's does. No yeah, little thing. It's a commitment. <laughs> it is a fun. commitment, but right. but one that is very satisfying and worthwhile because it's all about you know uh, enhancing dance alive and and support supporting Absolutely. dance alive. Everyone gets to vote for their favorite dancer. Yes, and so you'll meet these 
uh, so local celebrities at Meet the Dancers. Okay. And uh, Craig Wilburn and myself will be the co hosts. Excellent. And we'll also have a live and silent auction. Catering will be by Sweetwater, and DJ Always Elio good. will provide the sounds as well as Grace and so, Garden Grace Florals. Well, we so we end the evening by having the opportunity to dance ourselves. And that yes. takes us to the dance party of the year the Champagne Gala. Where will it take place, Susan? At Legacy Park in Alaska. Excellent. Okay, now, who is planning this fabulous event? We have amazing co-chairs, my rock stars, Susanna yes. Petty and Tara Blythe. They're phenomenal. And we have the amazing co-hosts, Jillian D. and our own Chamber President CEO, Eric O'Day. Uh, outstanding. Everyone's coming back for a repeat yes. performance. Ah, but now we have new judges. Tell us about that. The judges. You have to be there and see in person. We're going to have our own movie star celebrity judge, Lisa Nimi Swayze. We will have a national award-winning ballroom dancer, Deidre Radler, and our very own Dance Alive choreographer, Judy Skinner. Of course. Deb. And the room, I know, will be beautiful. And then after the Dancing with the Stars, the judging, the giving of awards, we get to get up and dance too. Absolutely, yes. DJ Elio will be bringing the all fiesta the music to us. The fiesta. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. So once again, it's and tickets are available on your website. Yes, so. and um, Spurrier's Great Iron Grill will oh, be providing yes. the amazing dining, and we'll have a, also a um, silent auction going on as and, well. And we get to take our photos. Yes, Philip and, Marcel Photography will be yes, there. Yes, it's a great keepsake, and a, I, I look forward to it once again. Again. And it, you know, there's so much happening for Dance Alive, soaring to new heights, the wonderful opportunity that we're moving towards. And we just have a few more moments, but what would you like to share with our viewers? Well, as Dance Alive is Gainesville's own professional ballet company, I invite you to attend a performance and support the arts. And, and join us at those community fun community events also, the parties. And Susan, I want to thank you and certainly Rosemary and James for being such wonderful, informative yes. guests. And, and back to Kim and Judy and Mary Ellen Pofall, who I knew, uh, you know, who started it all. Uh, we're just thrilled to be a part of Soaring to New Heights with Dance Alive National Ballet. It's, it's we something. Do. We look forward yes. to our new home. Oh, it's, it's going to be a wonderful asset not only to dance alive certainly but to our entire community mm -hmm. well thank said. you again thank you and we're so glad you tuned in and i hope you'll join us next time take care